Retirement has been terrific. We're enjoying the grandkids. We travel a lot, a lot of skiing and a lot of golf and, you know, all the things that we, we love to do. I was in television almost 40 complete years at Channel 9. I worked with so many marvelous people, all of them lifting me. That I had this problem with heartburn. I've had it for as long as I can remember. And it changes your life, you know, you have to think about everything you eat. Kim Christensen, my longtime co-anchor, would refer to me as Mr. Tender Tongue. Whatever you do, don't give Mr. Tender Tongue anything stronger than ketchup. And she didn't know how right she was <laughs> about that because it would just send me over the edge. Barrett's esophagus is the only identifiable pre-malignant condition for esophageal adenocarcinoma. Barrett's is a condition where the normal lining of the esophagus gets replaced by a lining that looks pink or salmon colored in the lower esophagus. This is typically seen in individuals who have risk factors for Barrett's and for esophageal cancer. Mark was one of those who had reflux symptoms. They got really intense, so uh, I decided to ask my, my uh, general practitioner about it. What, you know, what do you think? What can I do? Well, he says, there is this marvelous doctor at CU Anschutz who is starting this study. And I think you, with your symptoms, need to be part of this. Mark was diagnosed with low-grade dysplasia. One of the first things that we do is we evaluate patients in our clinic and we talk about both these strategies that are endorsed by our guidelines, which is surveillance or endoscopic eradication therapy. We discuss the pros and cons of both these treatment strategies and then offer enrollment in this uh, trial, the servant uh, trial. So I get into the study and suddenly I find out I'm number one in the study. I'm the first one in the study. He was randomized to endoscopic eradication therapy. And what that treatment arm entails is that patients undergo treatment using uh, these endoscopic eradication therapies that include resection of any visible lesion within the Barrett segment during their first endoscopy and then they undergo ablation, uh, which is essentially using heat. This is Dr. Wani. <laughs> and this is how, as a patient, I see Dr. Wani because you're just going to sleep when he walks in and starts talking to you and you're just waking up when he comes in to tell you how you did. He's now my screensaver because he's my personal hero. We actually achieved our endpoint of complete eradication of Barrett's uh, for Mark, and now he's in the surveillance part of the trial for that treatment arm where we will continue to watch him and confirm that the Barrett's does not uh, come back and he never gets esophageal cancer. So life for me looks a lot richer. I have a lot more stamina now than I did before. I can work out harder. I've never felt so good. I sleep better. I've got grandkids and I would like to live long enough to enjoy it and see them all graduate and get married and the whole thing. Most especially to Dr. Wadi and his crew. I, I just, I, I can't even begin to tell them how grateful I am. I mean, they really just uh, remade my life. Really? grateful to Mark and several other patients that have been a part of the Servant trial and our ongoing uh, research projects here at the University of Colorado and our Cancer Center and our uh, Center of Excellence. As CU Anschutz, they do a lot of good programs like this. They kind of embrace you. They take you uh, into their arms and they say, okay, we're gonna make this better. We know there's a fix. We know there's a solution and we're gonna find it for you and they do.